On June 3, 2009, at the age of 72, David Carradin was found dead in his room at the Swiss Tel Nylert Park Hotel on Wireless Road, near Skumvit Road, in central Bangkok, Thailand. He was in Bangkok to shoot his latest film, titled Stretch. A police official said that Carradin was found hanging by a rope naked in the room's closet, causing immediate speculation that his death was suicide. However, reported evidence suggested that his death was the result of autoerotic asphyxiation. Two autopsies were conducted, one involving the celebrity pathologist Pornthipro Jainasanen, and concluded that the death was not a suicide. The cause of death became widely accepted as accidental asphyxiation. Immediately following his death, two of his former wives, Gail Jensen and Marina Anderson, stated publicly that his sexual interests included the practice of self-bondage. Anderson, who had plans to publish a tell-all book about her marriage to Carradine, said in an interview with Access Hollywood, There was a dark side to David, there was a very intense side to David. People around him know that. Previously in her divorce filing she had claimed that it was the continuation of abhorrent and deviant sexual behavior which was potentially deadly. Photographs of Carradine at the death scene, as well as photographs of his autopsy body, were circulated in newspapers and on the internet. His family, represented by his brothers, Keith and Robert, pleaded with the public and the press to let them mourn their loved one in peace. Carradine's funeral was held on June 13, 2009, in Los Angeles. His bamboo casket was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park. Among the many stars and family members, who attended his private memorial were Tom Selleck, Lucy Liu, Francis Fisher, James Cromwell, Steve Railsback, and Chris Potter. His grave was marked on December 3, 2009. The monument proclaimed him to be the barefoot legend, and included a quote from Paint, a song he wrote and performed as the theme to Sonny Boy, as an epitaph.